Hey guys, Lance here. So, as you know, Microsoft released the Windows 10 IoT uh, disk image for uh, the Raspberry Pi and another board. Who cares? In the Galileo, or however you pronounce it, uh, the Intel uh, uh, Arduino hybrid thing uh, that runs x86 code. However, so I was messing with the disk image, right? And so, let me go ahead and run a, a command prompt here to show you. So I deleted the main uh, partition uh, that comes in it, right? Uh, as you know, disk part, let's load this sucker up. Um, I went ahead and messed with the partition on it. It takes forever for some reason on this stupid uh, little disk image. The moment you remove that uh, partition, or volume rather, um, on the SD card for the Raspberry Pi thing, Windows doesn't like like it at all. So this may be a waste of time so I'm not gonna go through that but I'll minimize it and check on it so as you see when you delete the disk image it's no longer ES whatever uh, it is when you do the um, disk image which watch in another video uh, which I show you how to actually take the disk image from uh, uh, for the Raspberry Pi rather and put it onto your uh, SD card however now when you remove that volume you have something that shows up as main OS right you double click in there and it has the hierarchy of Windows, right? Literally, Windows. So now here's the problem. It keeps crashing. See, it says in insert uh, the thing. So we're taking it out, right? We're putting secure on it. I don't know why that happens. Maybe it's just this stupid SD card. Mind you, it's out, right? There's no SD card in here, but yet it still comes up. Don't know why. I don't know what I did. <laughs> but let's pop this sucker back in. Give it a moment should come back up maybe what I also noticed sometimes you gotta run uh, explorer.exe again so it, it doesn't see it I slide it back again this could be just this build of windows I've never had to do something like this ever um, there we go. So let's go take a look. <laughs> is that crazy? That's the hierarchy of the Raspberry Pi disk image for IoT. Now, I don't know about you, but I look at this and get excited. I feel we could copy some of the things from Windows 10, pop it on here. Then we possibly have Windows 10 on our freaking Raspberry Pi, right? So I'm just wondering. Could we possibly put the right files on here and run literally Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi? It is ARM-based, um, and it looks like, again, the same hierarchy as regular Windows, right? So I try to get into certain of these folders, right? On here, it doesn't work so good. I pop it on Linux. I can get into all the file systems properly. Um, and I'm just thinking, what's truly on here that... Uh, the regular Windows is required to have the whole GUI of Windows. I'm not saying everything here, but clearly this is basically main OS, Windows OS. Um, but I'm sure there's something in here that's going to allow us to make this into a, a full-blown uh, Windows uh, 10 uh, usable operating system not just the IOT thing I mean it's got the file system it looks like it's got the hierarchy of your normal Windows um, some things I've never seen before um, but I have a good feeling that we could probably do something with this um, and as you see here x86 or I'm guessing this is the 64-bit um, I mean or it's ARM program files I don't know um, and then you have programs itself. I think that's from when you just upload the app X file. I don't know. I really have to explore this. So it might sound stupid to some of you who've already done this. Um, but a lot of these things I just can't get into. Now, some of it, I had to change the user permissions, right? So that I could get into them. Uh, but yeah, some of these things you just can't get into on the normal Windows 10. Now, again, if I load this on uh, uh, Linux, and attack the file system I have no problem um, so why this is acting up right now I don't know I don't know if this is something that they've uh, done on purpose um, or maybe I'm just having a hard time here um, oops let's go to notepad let's see if we can view what's in this meta config file um, 
but nonetheless, it, it, it keeps acting up strictly on uh, Windows 10. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the damn SD card again, as you see. Um, and you know what? Let me use a different SD card uh, holder here. Micro SD card holder. Let's see what happens. Maybe not. Come on. So let's go ahead. Can I kill it? Crap. <laughs> All right. So we got a blank screen here. There we go. It's coming back. So let's go ahead and run Explorer. Exe again and get this going. All right. Go back to this PC. Main OS. I think I have. Uh, the lock on. Let me turn the lock off on this SD card. Oh, great. Now it loads. Let's pop that sucker in. There we go. Main OS. Here we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. We're getting somewhere. Nope. <laughs> We're getting nowhere. So let me go ahead. Well, let's give it a second really does not want us going in on Windows Linux I have no problem with but I don't have the recording software on there I'm reloading that I'm gonna reload explorer.exe I don't want to kill the environment let's go back in there maybe man what a pain in the butt this is huh Let's go ahead and take that out. Slide that back. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's try this again. As you see, no matter what I do on this, I, I can't understand. It takes forever. I don't know if there's something blocking it or what. Because again, on uh, my uh, Linux Mint machine, which is a Debian based, I believe, no problem. Some reason on Windows 10, reading this SD card with main OS on it, I'm having the hardest time. It's almost like they have something in there to prevent it. Now, I'm just wondering if I need to reinstall Visual Studio and then attack through there. I don't know. Um, but it seems I, no matter what I do, I can't get into anything here. Um, I mean, it looks like it's working, right? And nothing I do. I mean, this is a super fast computer. Um, it doesn't take this type of time ever. So, I guess what I need to tell you is uh, do this on Linux <laughs> and compare the file systems and uh, the files that are missing. Uh, sorry to take up, you know, so much of your time doing this, but uh, I thought we'd be able to explore on here. But uh, at the very least, food for thought. I think we could run real windows off of this Raspberry Pi image. Um, now, if you have questions how to get to even this step, um, use the disk part. Uh, uh, select the uh, disk, which is likely going to come up as disk one, but not always. But uh, do list disk, um, then list of volume. Check out the volume that's there. Uh, delete that, and then uh, delete volume once it, that volume is selected. Um, and then main OS will pop up. Um, so we didn't get to go further here, but uh, at least we know something is going on here. So let's try even, yeah, I'm not going to waste your guys' time anymore. But how exciting is that? We may be able to run actual Windows 10 uh, on a Raspberry Pi if we try. I'm sure we could. I'm sure we could. Or maybe there's a, maybe there's a Windows RT somewhere that we could probably copy the files right over there and copy it to the Raspberry Pi image and possibly run again see which files anyhow uh, I've taken up too much of your guys time it's about nine minutes and 45 seconds now so uh, yeah food for thought just putting that out there let's see what everybody can do